hope you got to need with Booty Vance and today we're gonna be doing a Thailand workout. All right, girls, this is an awesome interval full body workout. I'm excited to show you. All you need is a booty band and some open space. This is going to be targeting your lower body first, and then next we will be going into our upper body. So as you'll notice, you're just gonna start off with a warm up of going into a march, and then after 30 seconds, we're gonna take it into a uh, fast paced march. So um, listen to your body. Modifications are completely fine here. Go to whatever level is, is best fit for you. So if that just means you go a little bit slower or you just go into a higher knee raise, uh, great. seconds you're going to bring it down and then 30 seconds bring it up you're just gonna notice stay with me um, 30 seconds you're gonna hit a little timer um, and then next we got squats so your biggest focus here with squats is really pushing your knees against that band really trying to keep your booty clear back you want to imagine you're sitting into a chair so that way your knees are not going forward rather they're going um, a, a with your ankles rather than over your toes after that we're gonna take it into a jump squat so uh, have fun with these again listen to your body and take it to your level the reason why I choose to do interval training is not only that it helps build your endurance, it also helps increase your energy, and it also helps boost your metabolism, but one of the top reasons why I do interval training is that it will help burn your fat and not your muscle. Essentially, it's going to keep your curves in all the right places, leaving you with that big booty and that small waist. Another reason why I like it is it helps burn calories even after you do the workout. So within 24 hours, you're still in that fat burning zone. And to me, I just love knowing that my body is still doing work after I'm done with the workout. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this cycle three times where you're going into the marching and then the squats. And that will complete our uh, lower body. So stay with us. essential points to remember, your core should always be nice and tight. When I say that, I want you to focus on drawing your belly button towards your spine. Also keep your chest lifted. Do not forget to breathe. Always have some really good, nice deep inhales and exhales so you're feeding your body full of oxygen.
gonna go ahead and do the upper body now. So this is gonna first start off with push-ups for 30 seconds. After that, we're gonna go into mountain climbers for 30 seconds. Then after that, we're gonna go into a plank for 30 seconds, and then turn around and do bicycles for 30 seconds. So set your timer, come join us, and grab your booty band. Again, um, with push-ups, you wanna make sure that your core is nice and tight. Uh, modification, you can go ahead and drop onto your knees. If you're strong like Cindy, you can go ahead and stay on your toes the whole time. Mountain climbers, you just wanna have your hands right underneath your shoulders. Always keep your core nice and tight and just focus on drawing that knee right up into the chest as much as you can get that booty band to stretch. a plank you'll notice that Cindy is on her elbows and she's just gonna hold the plank where I am up on my hands and I'm doing a plank jack you can choose whatever you want or you can switch it up With bicycles, we're just putting the booty band around our feet, and the biggest emphasis here is a push-pull, push-pull, constantly keeping a tension on that band. You'll notice that Cindy is doing a modification where she's not twisting her upper body. You'll notice that I'm doing more advanced where I'm bringing the opposite elbow to my opposite leg. Stretch it out and then we're gonna go ahead and repeat that two times.
you enjoyed today's workout. If you do not have a booty band, go ahead and click in the link below. Or the card above. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to get more like this.